Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is part two of my Dark Souls 2 Let's Play. We're going to go ahead and go into here so that we can talk to the Fire Keepers and uh, also go ahead and get our class made and our character created. So let's go ahead and walk on in here. <laughs> what seems to be the ruckus? Oh, my. Your face, the face of the curse. It's an undead. An undead has come to play. <laughs> they all end up here, all the ones like you. You spoke to that kind old dear, didn't you? You're finished. You'll go hollow. Yes. You'll become one of them. Hollows prey upon men. Feast upon their souls. This is the fate of the cursed. <laughs> <laughs> What is your name? Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and name my character George just because that's my uh that's my last name. Why not? <laughs> At least you know your own name. Here's your reward for sharing. It's a human effigy. Take a closer look. Who do you think it's supposed to be? Think back, deep into your past. Yes, it's an effigy of you. Alright, so this is the uh, character creation menu. So we're going to go ahead and go for the Swordsman class, because I I actually really like the idea of the Swordsman class, with the high dex and the dual wielding, especially since both the weapons are already at a plus one state, so they're a little more stronger than all the weapons that you'll find. I know that the Cleric, I think, starts off with a plus one on their robes, but those actually those robes are extremely powerful. Like, I mean, they're just about as good as the knight's armor at the beginning. Even better than the knight's armor. So it's interesting on how they gave the cleric such a high-powered armor to start with. <clears throat> um, uh, the explorer just has a lot of items. You know, he's got a couple of nice stats, like with adaptability and stuff like that. But that's about it. Sorcery, you guys know the you know idea of that. Casts magic. Um, sorcery. You know, has high attunement and int intellect. Um, deprived is sort of your bare minimum start, so level one, you know, you'll probably have to have, like, what, 500 souls to get your first skill point. So as you can see, all these other characters start off at about level 12, level 11, I think the highest is like 14, yeah, with the cleric. But, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and just choose the swordsman here. Our gift is gonna be the petrified something, maybe I'll get something good from the birds. I'm not gonna do much to the body and face, I'm just gonna keep it like this. So, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and... Continue. All people come here for the same reason. To break the curse. You're no different, I should think. Hmm, doesn't stand a chance. Well, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> Go through the door and trot along to the kingdom. But remember, hold on to your souls. They're all that keep you from going hollow. Oh, I'll fool you no longer. You lose your souls. All of them. Over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> so 
so yeah, the, uh, you know, already making fun of us, telling us we're just gonna lose and we're gonna never make it through, but we will. Don't worry, guys. Well, you know, I have faith in my abilities somewhat. So let's go ahead and grab this human effigy, which will be very helpful for, uh, a little later on. So, uh, this character is gonna be a high dex build. You know, of course, I'm going to put some points into strength because, you know, all weapons need a mixture of strength and dexterity. But uh, I'm going to try and make him a quick, light armored, sort of, you know, able to, you know, do lots of rolls, lots of stamina. So we're going to go ahead and come over here and uh, try to fight this ogre. I, I, you know, I'll probably get killed, but let's see what we can do here. He's, he's pretty beefy, so uh, let's give this a try. So far, I'm gonna die. God, ah. Yep. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. So we're going to come back and do that guy a little later, because I feel that right now I'm just too weak to beat him. I don't do enough damage. And here's your first look. This is what our hollow form will look like once we die. Um, the system in this game is every time you die, you further hollow to the point where your HP goes down to 50%. I'm going to go ahead and just use this human effigy. I'll find more to restore our humanity. <coughs> So that means, uh, you know, our health goes back up to its maximum and we do not have to worry about, you know, being hollow. Um, I think there are some things, like if you're a human, you, you only when you're human you can invade another person's world or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. I think it's something like that, but do not quote me. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and move on to the next bonfire so that I can go ahead and end this video. And we'll move on to the... Uh, real beginning gameplay, I guess you could say, where hopefully I won't die in one, you know, couple hits. So here's the first bonfire right outside of their house, just chilling right here. I'm gonna go ahead and break this to get a, uh, get a torch and a lost soul of an undead. Alright, let's go ahead and light this and take a sit. Alright guys, so in the next episode we're going to go through the tutorial area. I'm going to just sort of breeze through it. You know, I'm not going to really read anything because I know how to play the game. And I, you know, uh, just I want to give you guys as much content as possible without any interruptions. So uh, I'll see you guys in part three of my Dark Souls 2 Let's Play and have a good day.